Hi, this is the fourth in a set of Magic Eye Tube videos that I made and put on the YouTube channel. It seemed like I was doing lots of related projects with these, so I split them into four videos. The first video was when I bought an $8 kit from eBay and put that together and that uh, made an audio VU meter. Uh, the second video, I built an op amp driver to drive the Magic Eye Tube and I interfaced it to a Raspberry Pi so I could uh, control the height of the bar graph and the tube from a uh, program on the Pi. In the third one, I built a PC uh, CPU and network monitor and used it using a Python program on the Windows PC. I was able to see the CPU utilization on one tube and the network utilization on a second. And in this video, I'm going to build an audio spectrum analyzer. It uses uh, six tubes and displays a different frequency on each of the six tubes. And we'll play some music and see how that responds. So here are the boards that I ordered from Osh Park. I'm going to build this board up in a moment. It's got room for put a couple magic eye tube sockets, some potentiometers, headers for daisy chaining to the other boards, headers for powering a single board. So you can see on this board are the two sockets for the uh, magic eye tubes, two potentiometers for brightness control, uh, some headers for chaining to other boards, and some headers for running a single board. And for running two boards, there we go. And there we have it. Hi, this project that I'm going to uh, assemble next is a Magic Eye Tube uh, Spectrum Analyzer. I got the idea from uh, something I found online called the Magilizer. Uh, the Magilizer by Mr. Nixie. And I'll link his uh, page here. Um, basically, that's a very cool spectrum analyzer using the Magic Eye Tubes built in a nice case, and it's got LED lighting. Copied most of the uh, the audio processing stuff directly from his uh, schematic, and that's what I'm going to show in a bit. Um, I must say that his uh, kit looks uh, far nicer than my cobbled together uh, boards that I'm going to demo. And uh, one of these days I hope to save up enough money and uh, get myself one of those and have something nice I can put on my desk. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to uh, build this myself out of the uh, Magic Eye Tube, out of the Magic Eye Tube breakout boards and such that I demoed before. So how does the Spectrum Analyzer work? Well, we're going to have audio signals coming in on the this side of the the whiteboard. Now I've I've really abbreviated most of the schematic, uh, so each one of these uh, pointy boxes is an op amp, but the op amps will have feedback resistors and uh, you know supply lines. There's all kinds of additional junk, but just uh, just realize that each one of these blocks is an op amp stage. So we've got lots of op amps in this circuit. So on this side, the left and right uh, sound come in. They go through some op amps, and then they go into a balance control. That's a potentiometer. Then they go into this where they're buffered and they go into a gain control. And then they go into this where they are amplified again. And they go into the one of the input pins on the BA3830S. Now this chip is a special chip that's designed to be a uh, six-way graphic uh, equalizer display. It has uh, built-in filters. And those filters are 60 hertz, 150 hertz, 330 hertz, kilohertz. 3.3 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz. 
So I've broken all those out to tubes on that side. But uh, you know, if you want, you can get the data sheet for this chip. It's kind of a unique chip. I haven't uh, haven't encountered anything like it before. I bought them on eBay, and I was able to put together this board using that chip. So the audio goes into it, and out of it will come a bunch of individual levels for the uh, amount of energy at those frequencies. And then we will run those through our op amp boards, the same ones that I demoed in uh, my previous video. The same ones that I demoed in my previous video. And then those will connect from the op amps to the Magic Eye tubes. So here's the Spectrum Analyzer board. Over here on the right is the BA3830S chip that does most of the work in uh, filtering the frequencies and it outputs along this header a total of seven channels. Um, six channels for the uh, bars and the equalizer and then one channel's recording level. On this side we have a couple of RCA jacks for left and right. There's a balance control here that lets you switch between RCA jack. You can, uh, I usually just set it for the middle which balances them equally but you could, you could uh, set it so that uh, right or left had more influence. Um, here is a uh, gain potentiometer to control the gain of the audio going into the BA3830S. This pair of op amps. So one interesting thing is this uh, this IC here, which I hope you can see in the video. Uh, this is the BA3830S. Um, it's a dip IC, but it's uh, leads instead of being at uh, 100 mil spacing are at 70 mil spacing. So what I did is I took and I grabbed an 18 pin socket and I kind of bent the leads out and then I soldered each lead to a pin on the socket so that I could plug it into the uh, 100 mil spacing on my board. Next time I do the boards I will of course uh, use the appropriate size or the appropriate pitch on the footprint. That just caught me totally unexpected that that, that, that IC would have this weird uh, spacing on the pins. Okay, so here I've assembled everything. It's kind of a rat's nest of wiring. We've got all uh, three Magic Eye tube boards here with a total of six tubes. There's three op amp boards, one, two, and three. Each one has one op amp, which feeds two channels. And then we have the Spectrum Analyzer board over here. And behind it we have my uh, plus minus 15 supply and my high voltage supply. And then it's fed by a couple of uh, RCA jacks that go over to a Toslink adapter that hooks to my uh, Pandora player and amplifier. Okay, I'm going to test the Spectrum Analyzer. I currently hook, have it hooked up to my, uh, my Pandora player, which is running on a Raspberry Pi. But I've stopped the Pandora playback, and I'm going to use the speaker test command to output specific uh, frequencies and then we will see them appear on the spectrum analyzer. So starting with uh, 63 hertz, that should be the lowest tube. The next tube should be 150 hertz. Three hundred and thirty hertz. One kilohertz, three point three kilohertz, and then finally ten thousand hertz. Ten thousand hertz doesn't really peak it out as well as I was hoping. I mean we are definitely seeing more on the last bar than the other bars. Maybe one could try adjusting the uh, the gain up a little bit. First one. So let's try some actual music. I've downloaded some royalty free music uh, made by someone named Kevin McLeod. I've used his music uh, previously in my videos. Demo the plasma speaker and stuff like this. Well let's give it a shot.
Okay, let's try another file just to get some variety. Okay, that should be a pretty good demo. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.